Hi guys, it's another Friday and that means we are coming your way with another fun episode of Top Picks. We bring you all the trending stories that happened this week but in a fun and exciting way. Before we get started, do not forget to hit that button to subscribe and turn on notifications to be alerted whenever we drop some fresh, hot entertainment and lifestyle content right here on our channel. We'll be back. guys there's a lot that happened in ghana this week but we will be counting down the top five issues that got everybody talking and starting off at number five is some celebrity weddings that took us by surprise now last weekend sister to ghanaian actress Yvonne koro rosalind koro got married to her sweetheart anthony and it was such a celebrity started wedding from majid michelle sandra corbia rosalind herself to some celebrities that passed through to perform stone boy and kitty the wedding was nothing short of extravagance and i mean some a little extra class class extra a bit of it because that whole nigerian culture thing going on we really really loved it and we can't wait for the white wedding we will be here to talk about it as and when it happens not only did rosalind get hitched but also tv3 broadcaster aisha yakubu got married as well you know she had a very lavish islamic wedding reception one that i can say i have never seen before but it was so pretty her gowns all throughout the event was amazing and we wish both of them the best in their marital journey Definitely. And moving on to number four, as people are getting together and marital bliss is ruling, people are also divorcing. And one of those people is Princess Shingo, actress and socialist, who just got married to her best friend of 10 years, mm -hmm. her soulmate. I mm -hmm. mean, that post on IG was mm -hmm. beautiful. Well, it's not been more than two months and it looks like it has hit the rocks. And she's asked for divorce because of a lot of things, including domestic abuse and guys i can't imagine what she's going through considering it's not been so long mm -hmm. since her previous ex-husband mm -hmm. uh, went down like that and this too so guys listen we wish her all the peace of mind that she she needs and all the love that she's around there and we hope she really finds that soulmate that love that she's looking for moving on to number three is some big and exciting news that hits ghana this week so twitter announced its Africa headquarters and didn't select any other African country. Yes, you heard me, not South Africa, not Nigeria, not Kenya. Ghana, my motherland, <laughs> is where they are coming. They are coming home to eat Banku and Jollof, where the, good, where the goodness resides. <laughs> so Twitter CEO Jack took to the social media platform to say that they selected Ghana because of our long track record of, you know, freedom of speech and also how we hold our democracy in high esteem and a lot of people i mean a lot of people from members of parliament to the president himself and social media and also celebrities took up to the news and they were so excited about it but countries let me say country that was so excited about ghana being you know home to twitter's headquarters is nigeria as always they want to fight us over everything <laughs> but we have light than they do so obviously they need light to work in ghana now Ghana has light. Twitter, next year, you get your own, okay? Pray for Instagram head office. But anyways, we're excited. We can't wait to see all the opportunities that this introduction of Twitter to Ghana would offer to the Ghanaian tech market. Exactly. From one good news to another bad news. And I'm the bearer of bad news today, huh? Sorry. Right? <laughs> anyway, guys, so Kapim Polo, oh my God. I think this story was very popular. We talked about it a lot on Trending GH back then. So Kapim Polo, early, like, June in 20, 2020, posted mm -hmm. a very um, provocative picture of her and her son that caught flames on social media. An organization picked it up. An, an organization that sent us on child rights picked it up and took it to court. We didn't hear anything of the news till mm -hmm. just this month. All we know, Kapim Polo has pleaded guilty on three counts, including uh, publication of obscene materials. And because of that, mm -hmm. uh, she's to undergo a mandatory test, pregnancy test, to confirm whether she is pregnant or not before the final sentencing is given. Mm -hmm. A lot of people are talking about it. People think it's not that serious and it shouldn't have dragged on mm -hmm. for this long. Celebrities have added their voice, including Sarkodie, Kalketida, all saying, we have bigger things to focus on other than Ikiapim Polo. And this picture is no reason why you separate a mother and a son. 
let us know what you think in the comment section. Now, moving on, guys. Moving on to the number one story that had social media talking that had everybody up in their horses because it involves someone who is always up in people's horses with his music. The man, Medical. Now, Medical, who is known to be the El Chermano of good vibes and good things, you know, Mr. Luxury Live, Versace Robes, and all the good, good stuff, has been caught up in a very controversial scandal, one that I never saw coming to him. I didn't, because he has so much money, I would never expect him to wear a fake. Now, an organization based in Germany has busted Medical for wearing a fake rolly. And like I, I said when I saw the news, I have never seen a, ro a rolly up close to know a fake one and a real one. But according, please, this is China. Real, this is what it, it China, looks like. It's China. <laughs> But the organization says nothing about medical ten thousand dollar Rolex makes it authentic. Nothing mm -hmm. about it, and you know they called him out on social media, had everybody talking about it because you know already medical talks a lot about expensive stuff, and now he never wears banku. And one person who spoke about it as well, not speak on it directly, but wrote a story about it is the blog amealdebra.com. And yes, medical thought it wise to hit back at critics who have something to say by you know calling them John and all of that, which still does not prove that he's really is real. So unless he gives us receipts and authentic Education ID medical Shame. stop wearing banku Rolexes. Thank you. We don't even get fame self. We we get source of you know we get way way we go fi entertain people. That be all. I mean Adebra why one no say and then one say say you walk home yeah you know medical and who saw a share watch B S C fake good city. You go look into the matter. You don't even look into the matter. What's yeah you go fi enter Rolex. You never shop buy Rolex. You get that hat. You don't get if you get the money, sir, you don't get that hat. Shame. Guys, all too soon we've come to the end of another exciting episode of Topics. But you know we can't leave you hanging like that. The more saucy, swaggy version of our segment is coming right up. Whatever. Devalicious Zenot is a hack, Erebon. She is coming through with our segments. You don't want to miss it, but make sure to follow us on social media. Amiel TV, Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, and YouTube is Amiel TV official. Be Catch Z on. Hi guys, my name is Zenat and you are welcome to the fun segment of Top Picks. Today we are going to kick it off with our Hot Picks of the Week. And this week, the ever-glowing bride of last weekend, which is Rosalind Okoro, is our Hot Picks for this week. She looked absolutely stunning in all her gowns and we wish her the best in her matrimonial journey. Our next segment is Shade of the Week, and this week's Shade of the Week is super hilarious. Now, Sister Debbie posted a snippet of one of his videos on Facebook, and a Facebook user by the name Joseph Clockwise went to comment, and he said, so is this thing to music? Sister Deborah went to check on Joseph Clockwise, you know, profile to see who he is and what he does, and she came back with a clap back so hard, even me, it still they bust my brain. So she commented, Koforidwa electrician, instead of you focusing on the bulbs, you will change tomorrow and collect 10 Ghana CDs, you know? You want to be an art critic, eh? What do you know about music or art? Now, let's say, if that is not a superior clap back, I don't know what is. <laughs> Now, our next segment is what the F, and even me, I want to know what the F Sister Essie was thinking when she wore those shoes to church. In a video that has been trending this week, Essie is seen um, walking away after receiving communion in a church, and as she was walking away, her shoe, the sole of the shoe, <laughs> disengaged from the main, I don't, I don't even understand what is going on. But yeah, you guys check the video out and tell us what the F is going on with AC's shoe. Hey, Abby. <laughs> hey. <laughs> and this week's throwback features four of our top, top superstars. We have Stoneboy in there. We have Ifya Shasnega in there. We have Ohima Weyaje in there. And Baby Dapa is also in there. Now, this photo is a quick representation of we have come from afar. Yes, guys, that's all we have for you on our fun segments this week on topics. Until next week, it's bye for now. My way, I a friend in Ghana, no, this country called Ghana. And you think that you're not a kind of person, but there's so much in soon now with them. I call out a quiet idea, and I'm sorry. One channel, I rest, sir.
the loss of the land is dealing with it. You, these same people, are insulting an honorable judge at one year for doing her job.